All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Frostpunk Part Ten, I believe. Ten? Yeah, I think ten. <laughs> wow. And we are on day thirty now, and we are doing absolutely excellent. The temperature is about to go down, which means we are going to have to pump up the generator here. But we can do overdrive to save some power. Wrap up well. Frost is here. It saves us coal doing this. I've thought about that. And it saves us coal to just use overdrive when available. <clears throat> and yeah, it's keeping things good to go. A little chilly in the workshops, apparently, but not the end of the world. Oh, there they go. Come, lad. We must work harder. Working on that overdrive. All right. It's a foreman day, so let's hit all the foreman buttons. Foreman. 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 <laughs> foreman. It's a foreman day. Every other day is going to be a foreman day. That's almost cooled down. We'll get it in a sec. And there you have it. Foreman's running at peak capacity. We'll go ahead and we don't need. We don't even need that actually, so we won't bother. Um. Yeah, scout unit. Does that say scout unit N8? Wow. Okay. Sure. Things are looking really good. Resolve the situation with the incoming refugees, 0 of 3. I'm glad we found a reason to go out in the world again, because, like I said, we explored it all so quickly. Automaton's using this steel drill. People are using this one. Alright, build an outpost. Send 150 wood to our city every day. That sounds excellent. Alright, we actually don't need more food rations. We need steel. There we go. Very good. Because <clears throat> we have a lot of steel. A lot. Let's get this steam wall drill. Oh, shoot. I forgot to form in the workshops. I always forget to form in the workshops. There we go. Now we'll pump this technology up here. It's negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're still managing to be warm and comfortable. We are doing an absolutely epic job. And we're accruing coal right now, which is awesome. I love it. We're doing so well. We're at the point now where I don't really have to do anything. We're just kind of good to go. There we go. <clears throat> an indignant woman on patrol. Sir, our guards have reported this woman for attacking them on patrol. She was cursing them and hitting them with her fist when they brought her in. I would have come by myself, the woman says. These swine have been pestering me day in and day out, and I'm sick of it. They say they need to check if everything's in order, but it's just an excuse for them to make advances. Punish her. Hope will rise slightly. Recommend the guards. Skip this district on patrol. Hope will rise. Using the patrol will have less effect. Reprimand the guards. Hope will rise slightly. Yeah, we can't be having that. Assuming she's telling the truth. Steam wall drill researched. Excellent. Now let's get the advanced wall drill, and then we're really in business. We just don't have enough steam cores, I don't think, is the problem. Produce coal 33% faster, 30% more coal. Okay, that burns through wood faster, and right now we don't need that. We 
We could start doing prosthetics, prosthetics at some point, I'm sure. Generator efficiency upgrade wouldn't suck. We don't need any of these other things right now is why I think we are going to keep going on with the advanced wall drill. Alright, let's keep everything coming. 150 wood coming in soon in 9 hours. 800 coal coming in in 3 hours. <coughs> crushing the game. Look at this coal. <laughs> We're gonna be over 9,000. I love how well we are doing. This is incredible. I am shocked by how well we're doing. Stop. Whoops. Resources, resource depot. We need more. We don't have enough. Oh, we don't have enough wood. I see. Okay, okay, I see the problem. Okay, yeah, we don't have enough wood. Kilns are shutting down because we don't have enough wood. Yeah. We're out of wood. It's true. Free time. Rock day is up. Return your tools. And once again, we're out of wood. We almost capped on coal. That is incre that is incredible. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're gonna have to get off of overdrive soon. We're not gonna be able to rely on that forever here. I'm actually going to once it before it hits ninety percent, ideally. Still have ten prisoners. Waiting to deliver the eight hundred coal. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And three hours for the wood to arrive. Look at that. That's so many people coming. 22 children, 21 engineers, 27 workers. Oh my god. We're going to be up to like 450 people. We need to build more homes. I just realized that. We need to build more homes. And we are not making enough wood right now. Like, we are in serious need of more wood. I need to upgrade these ASAP. But steam cores are going to be an issue. A big one. Let's go ahead and dismantle this industrial hothouse. And that'll give us two steam cores back. And this one. Shoot, yeah. We're gonna have to dismantle all the hothouses to be able to have enough steam cores left over. <coughs> Overdrive's at 68%. It's important to consider. Wood's gonna be here soon. There we go. Well, we don't need our wood resource right now. We can change that to steel. I guess. Let's go ahead and break these down here. And then we can upgrade these wall drills to the ultimate wall drill. There, now we have four available. <coughs> Alright, this is up to 78. At 85, we'll turn it off the overdrive. There we go. Let's go to steam level 2 and get rid of overdrive. <coughs> this way we can do the same level of warmth without needing the overdrive. Voila. Running from the storm, refugees from Frostland. A huge crowd of people has reached our city. Many of them are sick. They say that some kind of enormous weather anomaly is coming our way and that they'll die without our help. 
We'd never have survived it. Thank our lucky stars that the polar explorer Nansen warned us about the disaster and told us to evacuate. Please let us in. Um, 70 people, 30 of them ill will enter our city. Discontent will rise. Hope will rise. Only the healthy ones. 40 will enter our city. No. Everyone's welcome. 70 people. We couldn't have done it any other way. I hope we won't regret it. We have room for 30 ill. We have room for the ill. We have the medic houses for it. We'll be fine. Oh, wow. They brought... Uh, okay, well, we have enough wood, apparently. Just kidding, on the wood, on the steel for wood thing. Go to, go to wood, please. <coughs> wow, okay. Does Scout have anything to do now? 70 survivors. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, sent to the refugees. Yeah, are we just gonna keep finding refugees? Is that what's happening right now? What? Because if so, that's wild. What a lovely morning. I'm ready to take on the day. Things are going well. We should thank our captain for that. Yeah, things are going well. 41 being treated, that's fair. Letting this cool off a bit. Everywhere is warm, basically. So things are going well there. This, we need to be on range setting 2. Does it reach on range setting 2? It doesn't. Oh, no. Well, now that's just depressing. That means this place is still going to be really cold. <sighs> Damn it. We're going to need a 10th steam hub. I don't like that at all. Yeah, damn. That sucks a lot. Alright, I guess we're gonna put it there then. Alright, sure. Why not? Why not? There's the 800 coal, okay. Come, lads. We must work harder. How are we going to use steel now? We have so much steel. <laughs> I don't think there's any way to use this steel, actually. Pretty sure we're just going to have to stop getting steel. We'll build hunter's huts instead. Since we got rid of the uh, industrial food, we actually do need more hunter huts. I actually did mess up by getting rid of that other one. We want these back. Definitely. We have, whoa, 148 unemployed, 60 are adults, 88 are children. The 88 children, you know, whatever. Sure, I guess. Yeah, we don't we don't need steel right now. Change it to steel. Because we're gonna be running through that stuff right now. Oh we have the steam cores right now. We can build the Yes, we can build the advanced uh Wait, no, we're still researching that. <laughs> soon, very soon. Are these not working? They are? Whoa, and we're still gaining wood? That's kind of crazy. New law. Okay. Discontent will rise. We don't need that. Adaptation. I don't think we need any more laws. I think, I think we've got all the laws we need, actually. Would you look at that? Wow. We're actually good to go. I'm not going to assign another law. We have everything I want. <coughs> What's the persuasion? 
So torturing, basically. Yeah, no, we don't need that. And I don't want to do this New Order thing. So yeah, I, we're, <laughs> we're done. We're done. Okay. No more exploring, no more laws. There's almost nothing left to do. Get all our hunters in here. Advanced wall drill researched. Excellent. Just enough steam cores to do it. Kiln bellows, good. All right, let's work on the generator if it's efficiency for now. <coughs> Should be good. Right now it's using 48 coal per hour, so 10% would be f like five coal an hour we're saving, not bad. I'm hoping that the second upgrade will be even better. 11 of 15 on that, okay. But we have no more workers that we can allocate there. Everyone else is engineer. Oh, no. You can engineer that. And now we have workers again. And we have workers on this, which means we can put engineers on that. Okay. So we still do have a, a use for engineers after all. And on this. There we go. available workers, that means we need one more hunter's hut, I think, to really peek out. To reach maximum efficiency. And then we need to start building houses. But we need more wood before we can do that. So I'll stop using wood for a little bit. We are about to be at 10,000 coal. <laughs> wow, look at that. We're crushing it. I can't believe it. We're doing so well. It feels so good to be successful in this game. It feels so good. <clears throat> 24 wood an hour with the advanced wall drill. Yeah, that's nice. Population? I mean, are we about to get 70 more people for real? Because that's going to put us over 500 population. Which means we're going to need more homes for sure. Alright, coal's about to fill, but... Generator efficiency upgrade, excellent. But work is about to be over, so we don't have to worry about that. Efficiency upgrade 2, a further 10%, so 20%. Eh, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, resources. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else I want more than that, so let's do that. I need 50 wood. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> uh whoops. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're struggling for wood. Yeah, it's it's good here. We're doing really, really good. We're out of wood again, but that's alright. We got a guy bringing 150 eventually. This guy's going to go find some refugees in an hour. Oh, we need to do the refugee thing three times. That's what this means. Oh my god, we have three batches of refugees coming in? That's crazy. That's a lot. That's a lot of refugees. Whoa. <clears throat> oh wow, we have our coal transports waiting for space. Oh my goodness. Too true. Alright, he's coming back in seven hours with them. 
Very nice. We're about to have to have a lot of food. But that's alright, we'll have plenty of hunters. The fact that we don't need any more laws, we've got no more Londoners, we're just dealing with refugees. Now we're just dealing with the place expanding and the place get, and the territory getting colder. Which is something we're handling fairly well, if you ask me. Definitely. I feel like we're on top of this. Shock. This is amazing how well things are going, actually. 11 sick absences. Whoa. <clears throat> okay. Day 32. Day 32. It turns out these six healing, uh... These six medical outposts is gonna turn out to be enough in general. There's the 150 wood. Okay. So, houses. We need houses. All near these steam hubs right here. Near these watchtowers and everything. There we go. That's seven houses right there. That should be really good. Um, let's actually cancel this one. Hold up. Because I think we're missing something. Sabotage. Certain agitator has been vandalized. Someone removed a part from it and wrote stop squeaking all day on its base. Seems that all, not all of our people want to work more efficiently. People may get hurt. Repair it. The agitator will be out of, repair, out of order for the next eight hours. Actually, yeah, just repair it. It'll be fine. Um, okay. So order. Guard stations. Watchtowers. This way we have a guard station here. That would be good. And a watchtower could be here. Yeah, that would be good right there. That'd be a really good spot, actually. Uh, actually, no, that doesn't get us many new places. No, it does. Yeah, we'll do that there. <clears throat> the struggle for wood continues. It's gonna just keep getting colder, huh? Wow. This thing's not messing around how cold this is gonna be getting. Refugees from Frostland, the second wave. Another huge group of refugees has arrived. They're in even worse condition than the previous one, many of them victims of frostbite. They all talk about a huge storm coming from the south. Nansen led us north because his years exploring the Arctic taught him to survive here using natural resources. Nobody could have guessed what was coming, though. Should we let them in? 25 ill, 25 gravely will enter our city. This content will rise. 20 people will enter. Everyone's welcome. We'll see what we can do. <coughs> Oh my god. We won't regret it. We couldn't have done it any other way. Alright, go get the last batch of refugees. Alright, now we actually do have an issue because we have a homeless problem and we need more medical tents all of a sudden. Medical tent problem can be Pop down right here. Oh boy. But first we need more wood. Yeah, those refugees are a mess. <clears throat> At least we have a home for them here. Day after day we find power and unity. Victory will be ours. Things are going well. We should thank our captain for that. Thank you. I'm glad you respect that. One more medical post right here. There we go. It 
it's not gonna reach the one in the middle. Oh my god. That is so unfortunate. Does this reach? This doesn't reach either. Oh wow. So this is just gonna be really cold then. Is it even worth building the middle one then? I don't think it is. No, just forget it. I'll just build those two. <coughs> Alright, fill the watchtowers. Order, people. Let's march to work. No more engineers, which means we need to take engineers out of one of these buildings. There we go. Put workers in them. Put engineers in the medical outposts. We're gonna have problems with all the gravely ill and yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's gonna be a problem. Alright, let's go ahead and use our powers. It's a foreman day. Foreman day, I mean. Here we are, foreman. 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 <laughs> foreman. 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 We don't really need to use it on the steel, actually. Just kidding. Oh, and, of course, can't forget. Foreman. On these, once we can. <laughs> Trying to keep up with wood. <laughs> be about 11 these activate, right? The vandalized agitator has been repaired. Right about 11 here. Come on. Come on. There it is. Foreman. 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 Voila. Let's get that research. Five or six left. People are getting removed from palliative, from uh, the care center little by little. <clears throat> Oop, hunters. Fill those hunters' huts. We're gonna need more hunters' huts. There's just so many people. This ain't no joke. here is not going to be warm. So we'll go back to building houses over here. We do need more hunter's hunts though. <clears throat> Wood is now consistently our issue. Hmm. We don't need wood storage anymore. Where's our wood storage? One of these is wood, and it doesn't need to be. Because we can't get enough wood together. Where is the wood storage? I don't understand. One of them has to be wood, right? Am I crazy? Maybe not. that need jobs. Engineers, too. Get those heaters running. Alright, the sick are being managed. Again. Alright, coal is full. That's not acceptable. The 
food rations, we don't need. Go to coal. And go to resources, resource depot. And let's knock out another resource depot here for coal. Generator efficiency to upgrade reached. Good. Now we're gonna have even more coal. Even more. All right. Pretty happy with this now. That'll be good later. Let's go with the factory finally. 30 wood first. Once we get to 30 wood, though, we'll start working on factory technology. Ooh, we're struggling with wood, aren't we? Just getting to 30 is this huge, epic challenge. Damn. Alright, yeah, let's get rid of the steel, too. It's already full. We can't get more full, but we can make more room for more steel. Or for more coal. There we go. Add new research. Factory. Voila. Oh shoot, the factory actually takes... Ugh, it takes a steam core to build. That sucks. So, if we dismantle our automaton... Does that give us a steam core? Oh boy, we're always out of wood. <coughs> we're crushing this coal thing. Wow. Just crushing it. Alright, and that's the end of our work day here. Free time. Work day is up. Return your tools. Where are we gonna get a steam core? Nowhere reasonably. We would just straight up need to find a new one. He's waiting to deposit the 800 coal. <laughs> Oh boy. I swear there's a wood... There's gotta be a wood storage here. Somewhere. Here, hold up. There's a raw food one. What? Coal, please. Alright, I guess there is no wood one. I'm crazy. <clears throat> we do need more storage depots though. For resource depots though. For sure. Every one of these costs 40, 40 wood, unfortunately. The one thing we don't have as much of as we'd like. <coughs> the interrogation pledge of loyalty sir we've just finished interrogating a group of suspected subversives and almost all of them are ready to sign the pledge of loyalty just one man resists he says that he won't do it he can't report on his family and friends and that we have no right to compel people to cooperate what should we do with him force him to sign this man may get hurt imprison him hope will fall slightly let him go but keep an eye on him using the pledge of loyalty will have a slightly lower chance of success hope will rise imprison him If he doesn't agree to work with us, then he won't. And end of story. <clears throat> Alright, it's about to get colder here. And we'll use overdrive for a bit that day. But we've been accruing coal for this moment. We've been getting ready. Raw food and food rations. There we go. Now we have it again. <coughs> Just like we should. Here's our automaton. Going to work. Base efficiency, yeah. If we dismantle, we'd get 100 steel, 100 wood, 50 coal, and a steam core. So we can get a steam core from this automaton. 
but he does do... He's doing 20 an hour right now for a steel crew, like, all day, 24 hours a day. That's just too good. That's too good. He's the reason we still have wood. Speaking of, wow, we have a lot of wood right now. <laughs> Resource Depot up. And then we can do some housing. good except hold up let's knock out those two and do a guard station and a watchtower oh we do a watchtower right there there we go and then we can go back to doing another house voila even though that watchtower might get real cold. Just saying. <clears throat> refugees from Frostland, the third wave. The third group of refugees is here. They're on the verge of collapse. Exhausted by the journey and by tending to the gravely ill and injured with them. Their leader, Nansen, isn't among them. We're evacuating everyone we can. But many stay behind with those who are too ill to travel. Nansen amongst them. God have mercy us all. The great frost is coming. Shall we let them in? 60 people, 50 of them gravely ill, will enter our city. Only the healthy ones, 10 people. Hope will fall, discontent. Yikes. Everyone's welcome. We'll try to make it happen. What looms ahead? Sir, now we can clearly see what the refugees were running from. The Great Frost is coming. We have to prepare. Our scientists say they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. They just need a day or two to prepare their instruments and install them in the beacon. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is a weird angle. We hadn't seen this at before. I was like, what? We have so many sick. <sighs> we have so many sick. Terminally ill, but being treated? keep working on it, I guess. Temperature rise went up. What? Really? Wait, it went up? Really? Why? What? Huh. Here I was thinking it was about to go down. I guess I was wrong. What looms ahead? Research beacon stereoscopic lens. Okay. So we'll research that after the factory, I guess. Very interesting. <clears throat> I think this house we're not gonna keep. Let's dismantle that one. And then we can set up more medical posts here. And there. Okay, building's going well. I can't believe it got better instead of worse. That's shocking. <clears throat> oh my god, there's a bunch of new places now, too. Whoa. Okay. Ice crevasse, go. Lucas Hill, we won't survive this. Yes, we will. Don't you worry about a thing. We've got this. I have no worries that we're going to survive this. But this will be where I have to leave this episode. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And we will see if Union City can survive the upcoming Great Frost.
next time.